Welcome back everyone, Michael here from Offshore Citizen and today I'm going to talk to you about how much does it cost to live in Bulgaria. So before we do that, if you have not already, please click the subscribe button, it helps us out a lot. We're trying to build up our channel. Uh, click the notification bell and let's get started. All right, so I'm going to kind of preface this by, of course, there is a range that anyone can spend in any given place, right? I had a friend who I think he was spending like $60,000 a month on rent in New York City. And uh, of course, that's not normal, right? Not everyone uh, spends that. In fact, hardly any people spend that. Uh, but, you know, then again, there's other people who spend more and there's other people who spend less. So I'm going to try and give you a bit of a context here. Do be, bear in mind that uh, I live in Sofia when I'm in Bulgaria. And uh, so as a result, you know, that's the largest city. It's probably one of the more expensive places if you were to be in some sort of a rural area, it would typically be much less. Uh, Varna, Burgas, uh, probably a little bit less. And uh, Plovdiv, a little bit less as well. Those are kind of the four major cities in Bulgaria. That being said, you know, I'm sure there's like the odd little place that you can go that's expensive, relatively speaking. Okay, so uh, let's start off with the subject of rent. Okay, so what does it cost for rent? Now, when I first came to Bulgaria, uh, again, kind of keep in mind that my attitude was, we're coming here, we're not going to cheap out, we're going to have a place that we like. Uh, there's no way that we're going to just settle for some dump or whatever. There's lots of places that you can get for quite cheap, etc. Perfectly fine. Some people have roommates, they save a lot that way. Uh, but I'm fortunately in the privileged position that I don't have to really worry about that. Uh, that being said, I also didn't want to spend a fortune. I was kind of like, well, hang on, what are we talking about? I'm in Bulgaria. Like, why should things be very expensive? So when we first came here, the apartment that we got uh, was 1,100 euros a month. Okay, I think we negotiated it down from 13, 13 or 1,400, something like that. Uh, so what do you get for that? That's, I think, around 145 square meters. So about 1,500 square feet. Uh, it's kind of the size of that two bedroom, two bathroom plus a half bath, uh, parking stall, and uh, yeah, that was kind of kind of gives you a basic idea of what it is. You know, decently nice place, nothing like super luxurious or over the top, but nothing terrible either. Uh, oh, also worth noting that is in the most expensive area in the city uh, as measured by sale prices per square foot. So uh, you could certainly get a place that was equivalent size for less money uh, further out, for example. So uh, I had a friend who was here, again, kind of a similar size place. Uh, DC was pretty happy with it. Loft, I believe it was, near uh, the mall, uh, so kind of a farther out area. And I think he was paying around 900 euros a month. So generally people who are getting good places, if you're in like the right city center expensive areas, so kind of the most expensive areas would be like Doctor's Garden, uh, Ivan Bazov and Lozanets. So if you're in kind of those areas, you're generally gonna find that you're spending for a decent place, I would say probably like 800 to 2,000 euros a month, depending on what it is you're looking at. We did look at a place at the time that was 2,500, uh, but I felt it was kind of overpriced. Uh, we found places that were nicer and cheaper uh, out at the base of the mountain in the area where the president lives, uh, which, uh, so that was in Boyana. So I think it was 900 euros a month for a like pretty, pretty nice place. The problem is you're kind of out in the middle of nowhere. We like to walk. So, you know, it was, if you're in this kind of central area, everything was walkable. It's super convenient. I like that, right? So that's, uh, that's the idea. Uh, on the high end, if you want to get, you know, a really nice uh, house, uh, we've, the most expensive place we ever checked out was 15,000 euros a month. I thought it was a terrible ripoff not at all worth it uh, but you can get something very very nice for uh, for six thousand a month so that's like you're talking about uh, a very nice house that's going to be you know around 700 square meters uh, big yard modern you know quite quite a nice place okay so that kind of gives you a little bit of a range on the high end now on the low end 
you can get places for as little as, I think I've seen places around 250 euros a month in some particular cases. Uh, one other thing to consider is that we had to pay, or we paid, I don't know if we just have to do this, but uh, we used a real estate agent. And so the cost of that was one month of rent. Okay, so this is very normal when you move, you know, uh, one month of rent. Uh, I did see the biggest penthouse, by the way, in the city available the other day. I almost bought it, or not bought it, but rented it, but a friend, uh, friend threatened me, he showed it to me and said if I took it. And uh, he showed up at the door and I answered, he was gonna kill me. Uh, but it had dropped as low as 3,000 uh, euros a month, which is a crazy good deal. It was a 1,200 square meter place. So you can get some good deals if you're shopping around, uh, but it just kind of, kind of depends. But I, I would say that anywhere in that range, you're gonna get you know, a, uh, a good place. On the, like I said, then you start going farther out and you can start paying dramatically less. At the time, I looked at quite a few places that were under a thousand, but they just weren't nice enough for what we were looking for. Uh, we either didn't like the location or we didn't like, just it was kind of old and things like this, not really what we were after. So, you know, uh, one of the big things I find is that places in Bulgaria, the bathrooms are really typically awful. Uh, the color patterns, often you have like this nice place and living rooms, etc., and then you go to the bathroom and there's something weird about the color scheme. They also often don't have counter space, so that's really annoying. And, uh, and they don't do a great job of containing water when it comes to showers and things. So a little bit bizarre for me coming from Canada, kind of my expectations, but hey, that's, uh, that's that. Okay, so that gives you a little bit of idea. In terms of utilities, I think on that place, our costs are about 200 euros a month in terms of like, uh, paying for heat, electricity, etc. I don't remember if uh, internet was included in part of that. Internet's probably like 20, 25 euros a month, something like that, uh, for like a good connection. Uh, I don't watch TV, so uh, cable TV is not part of the consideration uh, from my standpoint. Uh, you can get a great cell phone plan, like unlimited everything with roaming throughout Europe, uh, or at least throughout the EU for 25 euros a month. So that's, you know, a very, uh, very good deal. Uh, getting around taxis are typically two to three euros to go most places. If you have to go far, uh, like out to the airport, uh, is around six euros. So that's like a long, you know, you're doing like a, I don't know, 20, 25 minute taxi ride. Everything's pretty quick because uh, traffic is not bad for the most part. So you, you, know, you pay based on time and traffic. I think probably the most expensive time I've ever paid for a taxi was maybe like 10 euros. So taxis are very affordable, which is fantastic. Uh, there's an app, so it's pretty easy to get one, which is great. Uh, if you ever want to use public transit, I've only ever tried it twice, I think, and it was 40 euro cents. I'm giving you these all in euros so that, you know, you can kind of relate it. In actual fact, you could basically double it and call it a Bulgarian lev. So, you know, approximately those numbers. It's not a, it's like 1.95 to one uh, conversion. So that gives you some idea of, uh, of transport. Uh, fuel here, if you're driving a car, is not great, not terrible, I would say. I'm trying to remember uh, what uh, the fuel prices are recently. I think, so filling up a tank of gas, I think I probably paid like, oh boy, I might be a bit off on this, but I wanna say like 40, 30, maybe like 30, 30, 40 euros, I didn't, yeah, anyway, something around that. So not, uh, it's not really expensive like Italy, it's not really cheap like Dubai. I think I compare prices often to Canada and I felt it was kind of similar in that range, uh, depending on, on what's going on. So kind of, kind of reasonable in that regard. Uh, vehicles are reasonable. I don't find them to be especially expensive or especially cheap. Uh, so I have a business that we buy vehicles in Canada and sell them around the world. So that kind of gives some a little bit of context there. All right, so we've covered off on rent. We've covered off on utilities. Uh, by the way, in, uh, in like, if you get a big 6,000 uh, euro a month place, the rent, or so the utilities are about like, uh, I wanna say 700 euros a month, 
something depending on the time of year and things like this, right? So anyway, yeah, call it 700,000. Uh, for a maid, uh, we pay five euros an hour, basically. Uh, usually we just have somebody come at uh, like in a bunch. So, you know, they're doing a, a block. You can certainly pay uh, a lot more than that. You can, I've seen cleaners who want to charge 10 euros an hour. I think that's really overpriced for Bulgaria. Uh, so I would say like five euros an hour is, uh, is very reasonable, very doable in, uh, in Bulgaria. So that gives you some idea of if you uh, get maids to come. Uh, what else is it that uh, we've got? Okay, eating out. Uh, eating out is pretty cheap. So I, I like to have like chicken risotto very often. I find chicken risotto is usually priced around like four, 450 euros, somewhere in that range. Call it like 350 to five euros, just to, to give some sort of a, a range there. I, we, let's see here. So we ordered food today and I think it cost 15 euros for two people, but it wasn't that much food. So I would say normally we spend 20 to 25 euros ordering food. So that's ordering it in and we eat, you know, whatever it is we need. Uh, we've got something like, let's see here. So if we're looking at uh, going out for groceries, usually I think our typical bill is around 35, 40 euros, which gives us a pretty good, like, you know, two or three full bags of groceries. So I find prices for food are pretty good. I generally say that they're probably about 30% cheaper than Canada, uh, give or take. Uh, if you go to the market, you can get some great fresh uh, fruits and vegetables that are pretty reasonably priced. The quality of vegetables in grocery stores is not good. Uh, it's typically pretty bad. The quality of beef in uh, Bulgaria is really bad, almost universally. There's like very few, actually we have a friend who is opening a butcher shop, so that's really cool. Um, so, uh, but chicken and pork is more where it's at in that sense. So, you know, depending on what it is you're looking at in that regard. But yeah, so going out for dinner, I think the most expensive dinner that I've had was three people. Well, actually, okay, you can spend a decent amount if you go out and get high-end food. We probably spent, uh, like, I would say for two people, like 200 and some levs. So that's about 100 and maybe we've spent about 150 euros for dinner for two people is probably on the high end. That would be unusual that we would spend that. Normally, normally I would say like we're spending kind of like 40, 50 levs. So about 20 to 25 euros for dinner. So that's uh, pretty, pretty decent, right? Quite, uh, can't complain too much about that. We often like to go to this downtown place where we can get these yogurts. Uh, they're really tasty. We'll get like four of these things to bring home with us and maybe a smoothie and we'll pay like 750 levs. Very good deals, very good deals. Like food here, you can't complain about the price for sure. That's uh, that's quite nice. Uh, if you go out partying, we go out, if we go to a club or something, I mean, you'll spend like 50 euros maybe uh, for like a not crazy experience, you know? So this is going to one of the more expensive clubs. This is getting uh, a little table, not like a big table, but a little table with a bottle of whatever and paying your cover fee or whatever. So kind of in that 50, 60 euro range. If you go more all out, you might spend like double that. So very, very cheap to go out kind of in the party scene, I find. Uh, there's very few places that I've found that are, are less expensive. Are, are, uh, yeah. Anyway, it cost less. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's going to tell you about that stuff. Uh, what else have we got? So we've got food, we've got grocery, uh, like I said, groceries. We've got uh, rent, utilities, uh, cell phones. Yeah, that's like pretty much. Uh, what else do we pay for? Those are like the main expenses, I guess. That uh, obviously you can go shopping and you can spend whatever. So our typical bills for two people add up to around 3,000 euros a month, living like just totally not caring at all about what we spend on, right? So I'm not talking about shopping or something like that. I'm talking about eating, eating out whenever we want, ordering food whenever we want, buying whatever we want at the grocery store, you know, living in, you know, a good, uh, a good apartment, paying utilities, not worrying about, you know, 
do you leave the window open? Do you leave the heat on? Do you shower for a longer period of time? Do you like just not totally having no concern? You can live like quite a good life at 3000 euros a month for two people. I would say like your ability to spend 10,000 euros a month in Bulgaria is super hard, very hard to spend more than 10,000 euros a month in Bulgaria. If you're okay, if you go and like, I don't know, go to Carcia and are buying, you know, things like this, then yeah, okay, you can spend more. I don't know how you could consistently do this over 20,000 euros a month for any consistent basis. Like it would be insane to spend that amount of, amount of money here. Totally nuts. So that's like, you're living in, like I said, an amazing place for, you know, 6,000 euros a month. You're paying for a live-in maid and chef, which can be great. Uh, you're paying for, you know, these utilities, you're, you know, buying whatever food you're like, that's probably gets you to like 10,000 euros a month, somewhere around that, maybe, and transportation. So, uh, so what are you going to spend? You have like 10,000 euros in the difference to spend, right? I mean, you can go out and shop and buy whatever. So most of our expenses come in, uh, on the other side and like travel, right? So yeah, if you go through those things, I would say, um, let's see if you wanted to go on the lower end. So if you were to go on the lower end, I mean, you could easily get an apartment for two people for 600 euros a month, like no problem. If you were willing to take, you know, something that's a little bit still like a decent place, but not quite as nice, maybe not in quite as good a location. If you were to go and to uh, not eat out so much, you could probably spend, I don't know, maybe like 150 euros a month on a person for food, but you could probably spend less than that. You'd probably spend 100 euros a month on food per person if you really wanted to. Uh, transportation, if you were to use public transit, you would spend next to nothing uh, and you can walk a lot. So I would say that a person can probably live in Bulgaria per person. Like if there was two people living in an apartment together, I'm guessing that you could live for probably like 600 euros a month per person pretty reasonably like without going you know like if you're the, like willing to go to the, like bare bones and save everything you want you could probably get away with less than 500 euros a month for sure uh, there are definitely people who do that but if you're willing to say hey listen you know i'm gonna have like decent this would be kind of the budget that i would be saying is like the minimum and then like i said you really can't spend not without going crazy and doing just stupid stuff uh, you can't spend more than 10,000 euros a month here. And I would say that like a good life where you're just like, you just don't worry about it is around 3,000 euros a month for two people we're talking about. So yeah, that gives you a little bit of an idea, hopefully. Uh, if you have some questions about it, reach out to me. Happy to answer, uh, answer some specifics for you. Uh, oh, I didn't mention that if you're, uh, if you're taking the expensive 6,000 euro a month place, you're gonna spend probably about a thousand a month on like gardeners and maintenance and things like this. So that's, you know, another part of the, uh, the equation. So anyway, gets you to around 10,000, uh, 10,000 a month all in for all that stuff. And in theory, you could have a family there. Um, but you know, a couple people would be no problems at all. Cause that's, you know, big, uh, a lot of space. Anyway, I hope that helps you guys. If you have some sense of like wanting to, you know, relocate to someplace like Bulgaria and you're interested in figuring out, okay, what's going to be good for me? How is it going to fit? By all means, go and uh, check that out. If this video is helpful for you, please click the like button, click the subscribe button. I am going to look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Oh yeah. And you know, if you want to check out our websites, offshorecapitalist.com, offshorecitizen.net, feel free to book a call with me. If you have some sort of residency, citizenship, international structuring, tax planning, etc. consulting, you can click the link below for clarity.fm forward slash Michael Rosmer. I'm going to see you guys very soon.